day, Mr. Denmark Garcia. Good day, classmates. I am Lois Winnever S. Castillo, and today I will be discussing to you the contents found in our infographics. The first pathogen is Staphylococcus aureus, commonly referred to as Staph. It is a bacterium characterized by its egg morphology, presenting a spherical cluster resembling weight. It is a versatile pathogen, notorious for causing a wide array of infections, ranging from minor skin infections like boils and cellulitis, to more severe conditions such as pneumonia, osteomyelitis, and bloodstream infections. Of particular concern is the emergence of methylation resistant staphylococcus aureus or MRSA, which is resistant to multiple antibiotics, making treatment challenging and sometimes necessitating prolonged hospital stays. MRSA infections often occur in healthcare settings but can also affect healthy individuals in the community. Next is the Candida albicans, a fungus commonly found in the microbiota data of the skin, mouth, gastrointestinal tract, and vagina. Presents egg morphology as oval shaped yeast cells. Candida albicans is also well known for causing yeast infections, including oral thrush vaginal yeast infections and invasive candidiasis. These infections often occur in individuals with weakened immune systems, such as those with HIV AIDS, undergoing chemotherapy, or taking immunosuppressive medications. Factors such as hormonal changes, diabetes, and antibiotic use can also be predisposed individuals to candida overdose. Treatment typically involves antifungal medications, but recurrent infections may indicate underlying health issues that need to be addressed. Next, let's move on to the rhinovirus, a non-enveloped virus belonging to the Picornaviridae family. As an egg morphology characterized by an icosahedral capsid structure, Rhinovirus is the primary cause of the common cold, responsible for the majority of upper respiratory tract infections worldwide. It spreads through respiratory droplets when an infected person coughs or sneezes, and it can survive on surface for several hours, facilitating transmission. Rhinovirus infections are most prevalent, prevalent during the colder months leading to symptoms such as runny nose or stuffy nose, sore throat, cough, sneezing, and occasionally fever. While there are over 100 serotypes of rhinovirus, making vaccine development challenging, preventive measures such as frequent hand washing and avoid close contact with sick individuals can help reduce the risk of infection. The last pathogen is Giarda lamplia, a flangulated protozoan parasite exhibits egg morphology with an elongated, pear-shaped cyst stage. It causes diardysis, diasis, a diarrheal illness commonly known as fever fever. Diardysis is primarily transmit, transmitted through contaminated water sources such as three streams, rivers, lakes, and, ad and inadequately treated drinking water. The parasite infects the small intestine, <clears throat> leading to symptoms such as diarrhea, abdominal cramps, bloating, flatulence, nausea, nausea, and weight loss. While diarrhea di diasis is typically not life-threatening, it can cause significant morbidity, especially in vulnerable populations such as young children and immunocompromised individuals. Treatment involves antiparasitic medications, but proper sanitation and water treatment are essential for prevention, for prevention particularly, particularly in areas with poor hygiene and sanitation infrastructure. Travelers to endemic regions should take precautions, such as drinking bottled or boiled water and practicing good, and practicing good hygiene habits. So, that's all for the contents of our infographics. Thank you for listening, guys.